Erin Saunders is a nook and lives in Goose Bay. She tested positive for COVID-19, but says her symptoms are mild and considers herself lucky. We're all in this together, and you know, like uh, being afraid is a normal thing with this virus because it can be deadly. And I'm just grateful that my symptoms are mild. Natwashish Inu Nation is 300 kilometers north of Goose Bay. With over 900 people, the community is reporting 30 COVID cases. Shesheshe Inu First Nation, 30 kilometers from Goose Bay, with over 1,000 people, is reporting 14 active cases. The case numbers may be higher in Natwashish as more test results come in. But more cases means more isolation. And that's an issue for the flying community lacking housing. Chief John Newey says that's his worry. I hope the numbers stay the same where they are. Uh, but if we run into a problem, so we get more numbers. And uh, we, we need to isolate more people. You know, we just don't have no resources, right? How, you know, we have to find a way to get more isolate, isolate those people. Nui says he has been assured the province will provide additional resources. And I have spoken with the Premier already, you know, uh, if there is anything that you guys want us to do to help out more, please, you know, to, let, to call him. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him if I need to. In Sheshashe, about 400 people got their second and third shots at the community centre this week, and only community members are allowed inside the centre. Chief Eugene Hart is confident yet cautious. It's a whole new ball game because we don't know, sometimes we don't know which, which direction to go because if you go this way, you don't even know if you're going to hit it there or is a hit and miss. The province is reporting over 4,000 active cases with 784 active cases in the Labrador Grenfell region. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Jabuktuk, also known as Halifax.